Joran van der Slit finally confessed to brutally killing Natalie Holloway 18 years after her disappearance, and RadarOnline.com has the chilling audio of the convicted murderer heartlessly describing the last moments of her life. Holloway, then 18, had graduated from an Alabama high school just days before going to Aruba for her senior trip, where she went missing. Van der Slut, 36, described brutally kicking Holloway unconscious after he rejected his advances on the beach, yards away from her hotel room. He then used a cinder block to smash her head in before cruelly dumping her body in the ocean. The audio is hard to stomach, but it gave her family the answers they had been desperately searching for after nearly two decades. She asked to go back to her hotel, but I was just trying to get dropped off a little bit further away from her hotel so we could walk back to her hotel and I might still get a chance to be with her, he told investigators on October 3rd. I'm with Natalie, walking along the beach. I find a space before we get to the Marriott Hotel, where I lay her down. We lay down together in the sand, and we start kissing each other, Van der Slut recounted. I start feeling her up again, and she tells me, no. She tells me she doesn't want me to feel her up. But the convicted killer didn't stop, and Natalie took action. She ends up kneeing me in the crotch. When she knees me in the crotch, I get up on the beach, and I kick her extremely hard in the face. She's lying down unconscious, possibly dead, but definitely unconscious, Van der Slut coldly said. I see a huge cinder block lying on the beach. I take this, and I smash her head in with it completely, he explained, before revealing more gory details. Her face basically collapses in. Even though it's dark, I can see her face is collapsed in, her murderer recounted. Saying he was scared and didn't know what to do, Van der Slut revealed, adding he decided to put her into the ocean. Saying he walked her into the ocean until he was knee-deep, Van der Slut claimed he pushed her body out to sea, however, the Holloway's family former private investigator doesn't believe the Dutchman is telling the entire truth. He, Joran, didn't tell the whole story today, TJ Ward told RadarOnline.com exclusively. He didn't say where she was, but I think the most important thing as far as the family was concerned was knowing exactly what happened to her. And now we know he hit her in the face with a brick. Am I surprised? I'm not whatsoever. Van der Slut confessed to her murder as part of his plea deal in an extortion case targeting her family. He was sentenced to 20 years by an Alabama judge on Wednesday for extorting $25,000 from Natalie's desperate mother, Beth, who was promised Van der Slut would reveal the whereabouts of her remains in exchange for the money. Visit the all-new Radar Sports for all the on- and off-field activities of the biggest names in the games. Beth addressed his confession after the sentencing hearing. After 18 years, Natalie's case has been solved, she told reporters outside the courthouse. Joran van der Slut is the killer.